So after Second Wind, I felt like there was another level. There was more that I had on my heart that I wanted to say. I knew that there were other people who had gone through the same journey I had and were struggling still to find themselves again after some trauma. And I felt like I had also experienced that and I wanted to record songs that expressed that, expressed thriving after hardship. Falling with a bleeding heart There's no better way to start Mountains move and time will prove that I'll get over you I'm really excited about this project. It felt very empowering, it felt very vulnerable, and we tried to approach it from a very fun, open, kind of catchy sense. The End of the World is a song that I wrote right when the pandemic hit. My husband was like, hey, well, we gotta go on a date, but there was nowhere to go. So we got in his truck, and he was like, we're gonna go up to this like lookout point and he starts like going off this rugged area and I was like, oh, like this doesn't seem safe. And he turns and he looks at me and he's like, well, if this is the end of the world, then who cares? Let's just go have a good time. There are lines that I cannot cross. There are places I may never see. But I can love you like it's all over Don't really mind if you're next to me The record before the pandemic was a uh, coming out of the ashes sort of story already. And then the pandemic hit and I feel like it just gave me more, more fuel, more to say. Cherry on Top is a song that was really inspired by my fans. I reached out to people and I said, hey, what do you need to hear? Like, what is on your heart? What would you like to have a song be written about? And I was so touched and moved that people were sending me not only like, you know, their wishes, but also their life stories. Several women asked me to write them a song that told them that they were enough that their lives mattered, that it hadn't been a waste of time, that all the sacrifices that they've made for, you know, raising families or whatever they had done, that it mattered. It don't matter that you went and burned the cake or made a lemon from the sweetest lemonade Good life is a matter of taste And nothing that you made has been a waste when kids leave home and you find yourself in this new space, you realize that you've, you've dedicated your life to these people that you love and that next chapter is just kind of open. And this really, it, it struck me as an important message because I see it so often. So I wrote this song as a reminder to myself and to women everywhere that they matter and that every single experience they have is like, gold woven into their tapestry of life. We've just been through a difficult time globally, and it's felt in many ways like a winter for all of us, you know, being shut up in our homes and afraid and wondering when things are gonna come back to life again.
Bloom is really about how when we're with people that we love, we bloom and we flourish. And like as a community, as like, you know, globally, we're learning to like find happiness right where we're at. Even if we can't go anywhere, like we're committed to blooming again. This record really is about the winter presented by the spring. And by that I mean it's songs that represent hardship, but getting over them and coming through them. So it's a record of hope and promise and joy, but also a reminder that, you know, we're human and we all have these experiences and that it's okay to feel them all. It's okay to be yourself and experience what you do, and it's gonna be okay. Like, you're gonna make it through. You're, you're going to find spring. You're going to flourish after the winter. Thank you.